that is why also starting with our administration we gave tps temporary protected status to haitian migrants fifty five thousand and then more recently we extended temporary protected status to over a hundred thousand haitian migrants for that very reason that they need support they need protection that is why having done the work i've done it is our undocumented immigrants that are the least likely to commit a crime. <laughs> so let's get our notions together about what we're talking about. What the is going on? Things are getting weird. Things are getting weird, man. What's up to them beautiful patrons? My brothers and sisters, happy Monday. We are a couple hours away from this debate. And again, more breaking news hits the fan. Yeah. Oh, boy. Y'all ready for this debate, though? Comment down below, man. Some of y'all are already cracking open cold ones. Put it down. Put it down right now. Some of y'all got put it down. Y'all off the ranch waters, them screwdrivers. That moonshine with that, un when it, uh, that unlabeled edition. You put it down right now. And I know what's in that. I know, we know what's in that orange juice. You just snuck it, or snuck it under, underneath the table, uh, while, the, while, the, while your wife over there in the uh, living room. Hey, now, I know it's Monday. I know it's Monday, y'all. Happy Monday. Them patriots been working hard, man. Two to three jobs, sick and tired. We want our tax dollars back. Unbelievable. But um, before we get into this little video, you know, this also come from my brother Benny, man. You know these. The, I don't it pets, cats, dogs, ducks. I don't know what this I don't know. I, I look man, I don't know. If we are if this is a third world country, I don't know what's going on. I I really don't, yo. But uh, I want to tell you guys that I love you and I'm wishing the best in you and your family's life. One love to the human race, man. We need common sense back. Some things around this bad boy got to change. I'm sorry. You know, it's corrupt, man. It is corrupt. You know, and people are up here, they're up there laughing and giggling. Nothing's funny. Nothing is funny. You know? But um, we sent out tons and tons and tons of gifts, merchandise to, you know, a lot of you guys. Our channel members. A lot of you guys got free hats and free shirts sent to you. Um, There's tons of you that I have not sent the email back to, but I already sent you stuff. So you're probably going to receive some. Uh, we've seen tons of gifts get delivered today. So check your front porches, your mailboxes today. Um, and also the rest of this week and next week. Um, and there's tons of y'all that I did email back that your stuff is on the way. And there are tons that I didn't email back, but you, your stuff is on the way as well, too. It's just so much I have to do, y'all. I don't have no management team, no PR team, nobody. And there's nobody. It's just me. Whatever you want to call it. It's just me. You know, a lot of people ask, say, Rick, I can help you. Or Rick, I can help you. I really do need help. <laughs> you know, some of these big time creators that y'all watch have a full blown management teams, editing teams, um, you know, and a lot of things get done way faster. But with me, it's just me. And we have a lot of beautiful, loving patriots on, on a part of this family, man. A lot of amazing people from all around, around the globe outside of the u.s we have a lot of beautiful people a part of this family amazing people man so we're rocking and rolling but uh, i'm trying to figure out what's going on y'all <laughs> this is it's it's it's, it's just a, a a circus you know it's a circus but let's go and get into it and see what's happening um but again you guys make sure you send me an email um to my especially my channel members um if you are part of the channel membership please send me the email um, we've sent out tons of free gifts and stuff to our channel members already, but I know there's tons of y'all that we still haven't um, sent anything to. And there's some of y'all that even um, messaged me and said, I'm just here to support you and donate to you. Um, I don't want you to send me anything, um, but I do want to just be a part of the channel membership. There's, we've seen a couple of those emails too. Shout out to them lovely uh, patriots. But um, there are tons of you guys. I just want to give back to y'all, man. You know, even even it's coming out of my even if it's coming out of my pocket, you know, we've gotten to help so many people. We've gotten to donate to people's GoFundMe's, donate to people's to other people's channels and platforms, their websites. You know, it's all about caring and loving on one another, man. 
That's what I that's what I represent. Some people don't like it, you know, some people call me crazy. But hey, it is what it is, man. One love to the human race, baby. And that's how I was raised. Rest in peace to Rick Sr., man. That's how I was raised, man. You know, I seen my dad give his last, man. You know, he'll give you his shirt his shirt off his back. You know? So we're gonna keep rocking and rolling, man. We're gonna continue to make a change in the community. And we're gonna continue to spread the love, man, whether you like it or not. You know, some of y'all say I talk too much, but hey, I'm here to love on you. As simple as that, man. Common sense. I'm a common sense activist. Common sense. One love. You know, we don't want no no conflict, no wars, no negativity, you know, love. And we need common sense and true leadership. You know, millions are struggling and dying right now. And it is crazy what's going on. So we encourage everybody to go out and vote, man. Too big to rig. Let's check it out. Eat up, guys. None of this animal goes to waste. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. America is a nation of immigrants. That's true. You can probably trace your lineage back one, two, or three generations, and that's okay. The point of immigration has always been to go to a new and better place, assimilate, add to that nation and its population and its growth and the prosperity of that place. That's that's the purpose of immigration. However, things go horribly wrong when you do immigration incorrectly and when you destroy places that are functioning beautifully by importing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that couldn't possibly assimilate based on the pure numbers and density. And that is precisely what is happening in Ohio right now. And it is the biggest story in the country. Mm. Biden floods small Ohio town with 20,000 Haitian migrants tend to a bedroom. This happened in a place called Springfield, Ohio, that had a population of 58,000 people. So the town population increased by nearly 50%. And those people don't speak English. They certainly don't share first world uh, living conditions or standard American ba you know, background understanding or assimilation. I've been to Haiti. The reason I can speak to this is because I've, I've literally been to Haiti and I've seen it firsthand. It's a very, very different culture. It's way, it's way different. Way, if you don't know what he's talking, you know, I know some of them, some of them, some of y'all, I know, I know some of y'all ain't never been on the other side. But once you get to the other side and you get to seeing what it really, how other different lifestyles, cultures, and different environments and different settings, it's a completely different, completely different than over here. I'm telling you that now, you know. You know, hey, off the bone and all, raw, raw, just saying, if y'all, if, if you get one of them kicking, some of y'all don't even get what I'm, what I'm kicking, how y'all Monday going, man, y'all Monday going good, I hope y'all Monday going good, man. Uh, Monday. We just trying to make it to Friday, you know. Hey, man, we just trying to make it to Friday. That's all we just. <laughs> we just trying to make it to Friday, you know. I love y'all, man. I'm just glad that I get to keep it real with y'all. You know, there's a lot of creators. They, you know, they don't keep it real with you. I'm gonna keep it real. No sugarcoating it, man. But it's crazy what what what's, what's taking place. It really is place go ahead and check on any headline from haiti right now uh it's a it's a tough place to live and so if you take 20 first off how did twenty thousand people get to the center get to the middle of the country from an island that's like way in the like on the other side of the caribbean you can't take a boat to ohio from haiti this absolutely must have been part of a plain relocation system Right, where the Biden administration literally flies people in in the fly dark of night, fly me doesn't in. tell anyone about it. Fly me well, in. as you can imagine, this is this is uh, spiraling horribly, 
And we'll get to the news that's breaking, like, really across the internet. But as an animal lover, I love dogs. I, I was raised with dogs. We this love, story we is particularly pets, uh, atrocious for me. 20,000 Haitians living in a small Midwestern town of barely 58,000 people in less than three years. All eligible to work because the Biden program offering them work permits. Uh, now, and I was really hit upside the head with this this story. I didn't really do my full full research um, as I'm learning as I you know as I, as we continue to do this video. But I seen um, you know videos of those migrants all on my timeline. You got and some of y'all tagged me in them, and they were eating. It, it got real graphic. I mean, had the cat stretched out, blood on, uh, blood on, uh, dripping down the, f I, you know, I can't really say, I can't really be too graphic in detail because I don't want to get my video taken down, but yeah, I mean, and we, yeah, again, we love our, our, y'all know I'm a huge, a huge, huge dog and cat lover, so, boy. But those, in those videos that we were seeing, I'm like, what is, this can't be real. It's got to be a, a cheap fake, a deep fake. AI edited. This is on the ballot in November. Do we have a country or not? According to the superintendent of the school, they have to, they, like half the teachers have to speak a language other than English because, and I quote, we had no Haitians here three years ago. Now, half the city is Haitian. The mayor of Springfield, Ohio, a town with a population of 58,000, just announced that the city has been conquered by 20,000 Haitian illegals the Biden regime brought in. How is this even legal? We do not have the capacity to sustain that, he says. It's taxing our infrastructure, our public safety, our schools, it's taxing health care, taxing our housing, says the mayor. This is exactly what we mean when we say that they, that they are replacing citizens in real time. I don't believe that we need to vote these people out. I believe we need to change uh, them, with tr charge them with treason for enabling this uh, in the United States. Springfield, Ohio, and Brian Heck is the city manager, and they both join me now. Uh, good morning to you both. Mayor Rue, tell us what's going on in Springfield. Well, what we've seen is just such a quick increase of our population over the last five years. You know, like you said, up to 15 to 20,000 immigrants have come across uh, and into our community. Uh, this has overwhelmed our safety services and caused great concern for our community. Brian, you're the city manager. Tell us more and how it, how this influx is impacting the city. Yeah, certainly. Uh, thank you for having us on this morning. You know, when we see a 25% increase over a three-year period, we're a community. We do not have the capacity to, to sustain that. And it's taxing our infrastructure. It's taxing public safety, it's taxing our schools, it's taxing health care. And as J.D. Vance said, uh, spoke on it's taxing our housing so what does taxing our safety actually look like well ladies and gentlemen the biggest story in the world right now is that residents of springfield ohio are reporting that their pets are missing and that haitians are actually eating family pets uh, another gift from biden mass immigration and replacement plan w uh what's going on here <laughs> check this out this from a uh local springfield ohio uh uh, a newsletter, like neighborhood newsletter. Warning to all of our beloved pets and those around us. My neighbor informed me that her daughter and friends lost her cat. She checked pages, kennels, and asked around. One day she came home from work, and as soon as she stepped out of her car, she looked towards the neighbor's house where the Haitians live and saw her cat hanging from a branch like they do with the deer butchering. Oh. They were carving it up to eat. Uh, I've been told that they are doing this to dogs as well. And I've seen them in the park doing it with ducks and geese. I was told that every last bit by the, I was told the last bit by the rangers and the police, please keep a close eye on your animals. Y'all know this ain't the first time, man. This just came up now. I just want y'all to know. This ain't the first time. We've heard it a couple times. But it really hit me upside the head when I was scrolling down my timeline and then seeing what people were tagging me in. In actual videos. Graphic videos. Y'all probably not already seen what I'm, the videos that I'm talking about. And if you go on X, Twitter X, um, shout out to Elon Musk. You know, you can post anything on there. <laughs> Freedom. 
you know, but um, it's a graphic videos everywhere. Yeah. Pictures, videos, yeah. Four years ago, they took uh, they had 60,000 residents. Under Biden-Harris, they have 20,000. Now ducks and pets are disappearing. He you can see photos here of a man carrying a uh, goose. The goose is cooked here. Still can't go over this Haitian dude walking around with an entire goose uh, like its freshly prepared bag of Chick-fil-A. Springfield, Ohio population. Now, the residents of town are speaking out. <laughs> Chick did he man, Benny is crazy, man. And they got like a uh a new what's that new thing they got? I forgot what it's called. Listen to this. I want you guys to get out here and do something. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into they flipping cars in the middle of the street. And I don't know how like y'all can be comfortable with this. Like, I don't know like who's getting paid from this. I feel like I honestly feel like someone's getting paid from it in the background. They dropping that you got a bunch of people on a bus getting dropped off at a gas station to come down here. I know a single mom that FaceTime me tonight, FaceTime me this morning at the welfare office that really need like that really need something. Mm. And it's nothing but immigrants over there. And I don't even want to like seem like I'm coming down on the immigrants because it's the people that's bringing them down here because wherever they're at, that's what they're used to, bro. They're in the park. Grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them like. This is what the this is what the citizens of town are saying. Citizens of town are saying that they're being evicted from their homes because Haitians are squatting on their Thank properties. You. I live at 426 Northwestern Avenue. Miss Skinner, who I'm not trying to put on the spot, is my neighbor. Just talk to me, ma'am. Thank okay. you so much. And I'm done with. What I'm seeing, it is so unsafe in my neighborhood anymore. I have the homeless that were trying to camp out, and I have, I have made concessions with them, and I try to help them the best I can to keep them from trying to squat on my property. But it is so unsafe. I have men that cannot speak English in my front yard screaming at me, throwing mattresses in my front yard, throwing trash in my front yard. What do these people do to deserve this? Wow. What do they do to deserve this? A video that I will not show you the full, the full video of uh, is a woman, and it's uh, I like grotesque. She's eating a cat. So oh, this is there's a Haitian this is one of the ones we seen uh, uh, earlier this morning too as well. Haitian woman that's just caught by the police eating a cat. A woman allegedly killed cat uh -huh. uh, and is eating it in the front yard, shocking the neighbors. Uh, it's disturbing. You can find that video on X. I live near Springfield. Most of my family just lives in the city. Just want to say. That all of this stuff that you're seeing isn't an exaggeration at all. The numbers of car accidents and hostile confrontations with locals is insane. My aunt walked into a woman's restaurant at a grocery store last month. I was screamed at by true grown naked men taking a sink shower. Friend of a friend got his car hit by uh, one, no license and insurance. No license, no insurance. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. You should just see Houston, Texas. Yeah, people are scared. To, I'm telling you, get to put people are scared to drive over here. You know. Scared. My brother just got into a car accident. He said the guy got out. You know, nothing. Ain't nothing. <laughs> Didn't have anything. No English. Yeah, I know it. None, none against them. None. Y'all know I, I love all, man. I. But uh, it just comes to a point where, you know, it's just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. No, no, no insurance. That fella didn't even have a, uh, have a wallet. It, it didn't even have a wallet. No license. No proof of anything. He just riding. And then he was at fault in the accident. He and he ran the red light. Now you would think if you don't got no proof of anything, that you would be so humble and just try to to to, to follow every single law. 
you know, that you would just stay underneath everybody's radar. You already don't got nothing. You don't got no insurance, no, no driver's license, nothing. You know, the, the vehicle was on its already on its last leg. You know, that beat, it had a beat up Honda. You know, them beat up Hondas. Them beat up Hondas last, hey, I'm telling you, y'all be laughing, but them beat up Hondas last all year, uh, uh, for years. Them Hondas and Toyotas and what you call go millions and millions of miles. Them Patriots know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Them Patriots know exactly what I'm talking about now. And uh, jumped out and started threatening him and demanding money. Hostile. People are making memes, of course. <laughs> Donald Trump's saving the kitties and cats. Which way? Cat lady. Don't call me a cat lady. Don't eat my cats. Hmm. Progressive women in Ohio. That's right. Please save us, President Trump. This is now the, uh, the, the meme of choice across the internet. Make cats safe again. And Donald Trump, the cat emperor. Uh, Kamala's border policies protect your cats and ducks. This is quite a, quite an AI. That's, <laughs> Trump should do a rally in Springfield. I totally agree. Don't eat me. Right. New flag just dropped. Uh, this is ending horribly. In other situations, 11-year-old Aiden Clark was killed on his way to school in Springfield, Ohio. The killer was an Haitian illegal immigrant. Uh, that was, well, I mean, how else? The, was must have been flown here by the Biden administration. From Springfield, Ohio, Facebook post. There it is. They can just go to our park and take our ducks and geese and eat them. Something needs to be done. Yeah. Cat ladies for Trump. That's right. Let's see it. It's kind of weird that I haven't heard a single thing from PETA regarding uh, cats and dogs being eaten. Where is PETA? That's exactly right. I mean, let's get on the same side as PETA here, right? How many times uh, has the governor of Ohio gone to Haiti? Very interesting. DeWine seems to have a history of traveling to Haiti with Democrats. Yeah, what is that about? Interesting. Save the, save the kitties, save the ducks. Going to write an article on Kamala's migrant games taking over cities or not? Nah? No? No, nothing? Kamala turns head with her favorite foods in order to make more private side and connect with voters. She likes Doritos. Got that? While Kamala's eating Doritos, apparently pets are being eaten in Springfield, Ohio, and it's horrifying. And the residents of that city deserve to be heard and deserve to have the majority, legal majority rule. And the legal majority doesn't want their geese and ducks, cats and dogs eaten and doesn't want to uh, live in third world conditions. This is like sort of your birthright as an American, right? That like you, your ancestors built this place and made it nice and made it safe. And nobody should be allowed to come in and destroy that, right? Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Apparently, that's an extreme position, mm. but um, nonetheless, I think a uh, sane position. We need a little more sanity. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. Shut up, bro, brother Benny, man. You just can't make this stuff up, man. You really can't. You know, what is going on is what they say. Can't make this up. You just can't. You know? See if I can get y'all that. I, I want to leave y'all with something before we get out of here. I know y'all probably seen it yesterday or seen it everywhere you know but here it is i'm going to show y'all before we get out of here enjoy this um it's real it's real real you know don't get into it tell me make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new here and if you enjoyed the show we bring the best coverage and updates every single day baby we keep it real it's going to be too big to rig this year. We encourage everybody to go out and vote. If not, you're stuck with this. It is our undocumented immigrants that are the least likely to commit a crime. <laughs> Police report as many as 75% of the people they've arrested in Midtown Manhattan for assault, robbery, and domestic violence are illegal migrants. Police have tracked down a killer whose crimes spanned the country. Rachel Marin was dragged from a hiking trail in Maryland where she was raped and murdered. Police say Brandon Ortiz Vite used a handgun he bought illegally to shoot Ruby Garcia multiple times on Friday. The prime suspect charged in Lake and Riley's murder 
was 26-year-old Jose Antonio Abara. He illegally entered the United States back in 2022. A Texas grand jury indicted Rafael Govea Romero. He's accused of attacking 16-year-old Lizbeth Medina by repeatedly hitting her head and stabbing her. <laughs> so let's get our notions together about what we're talking about.